Hello, today we are looking at another 909 trumpet. Um, we just received this on trade. It is lead pipe one, bell three, which means that it's a great all around horn. It doesn't play dead or super dark like so many people think heavy horns do. Um, that's just simply misinformation put on the internet. It is completely untrue. Heavy horns a lot of times can sound very brilliant or bright, and in this case it just is a very well-rounded horn. It blends easily with box and Yamahas. This one is built with a round tuning slide, and all the 909s were reverse lead pipes. It's marked here. This was built uh, June of 2009, so it's a little over two years old. It has Saturn water keys, third slide screw stop, a medium weight trim kit, ergonomic finger rings. This one has tiger eye inlays in the finger buttons, which matches the patina of this horn. And the horn just has a great, nice, even patina all over. The pinky ring is a size small. I have fairly large hands. I wear extra, extra large gloves and my pinky does fit in there. So I don't think too many people will have a problem with that pinky ring, even though it is on the small side. Okay, so I'll play a few notes on the 909. feels very open like a normal box strad. Um, everything locks in much easier. The 909 is really the most efficient of my horns um, within the range of the Bravura, the whole HT series, the Summit, and the 909. But I discontinued it because it's so much work to build this horn. Um, so eventually the Summit Art will reach the efficiency of the 909 and replace this horn. But it is no longer in production. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to test it on some wide interval leaps and see how I do. Everything seems to lock in right where I would expect it. flexibility. So I haven't measured the gap on this horn but I would guess the gap is right around um, a tenth of an inch. It feels very open, so things slot in nice and smooth, but not too hard. Flexibility feels very good. Alright, well, let us know if you have any questions.